In this video we're going to talk about phonetics and phonology. So, let's begin with the basics. What are phonetics? Well, it's the study of the relation of speech, the pronunciation and transcription into written symbols of a sound. We're going to talk about those symbols later. These sounds are produced with the lungs, the throat, the nose and the mouth. On the other hand, we have phonology, which is the study of sound patterns and their meanings regarding on the language and the tactic rules governing the pronunciation in each of the languages. But what is the difference between both? The difference between phonetics and phonology is not that hard. Phonetics is a physical aspect about the sounds and it studies the production and the perception of each sound. On the other hand, phonology is an abstract aspect about the sounds and it studies which phoneme is given to which language. The phonemes are the symbols we give to each sound. The speech system is a series of organs we use to produce the sounds. In here, I didn't paint it, but first we have the lips, then the epiglories and glories, the teeth, the root of the tongue, the back of the tongue, the front, and the tip of the tongue. Then we have the alveolar, the hard palate, and the soft palate, the uvula, the oral cavity, the nasal cavity, and the pharynx. Our first sound is B. B is a bilabial sound. A bilabial sound is the one produced with both of the lips. And B is produced by pressing both of our lips together and then separating them with an explosion of air. B. B. Now we have V. V is a labiodental sound. The labiodental sounds are the one produced with our upper front teeth and our lower lip. B is produced with our upper front teeth pressing against our lower lip and releasing air. V. V. Now we have some examples with the B and V sound, like very and very. B is always used with B like in the next sentence Betty gave birth to a beautiful baby V is always used with V Victor is a very violent kid When we have them together we need to be very careful so we don't get confused Like in Betty is very allergic to berries Now we have U. Uh. U uh is a short sound and you can feel the vibrations in your throat. U. Uh. U. Uh. Now we have E, which is a longer sound and it's easier to produce if you smile. E. E. The sound U uh, it's always used with a letter I and the sound E it's always used with a combination of two letters E and a letter E and A. The sound U uh, it's pronounced this ship is a bit dirty. The sound E it's pronounced these ships are really cheap. In their combination, we should be really careful not to get confused. It eats. It mints. Now we have theta. Theta is a lingua dental sound. The lingua dental sounds are the ones produced with the upper front teeth and the tip of the tongue. Theta is produced by the upper front teeth 
pressing against the tip of the tongue and releasing air without making any sound. It's and if you're doing it correctly, you won't feel any vibrations in your throat. Now we have delta. Delta is also a labiodental sound, and it's really similar to theta. But in delta, we press the upper front teeth with the tip of the tongue, and we release air with sound and we feel, we feel the vibrations in our throat. Now we have some examples with theta and delta, like thanks and then. Some mixed examples are go to the theater next Thursday. Some examples of delta are my brother was shorter than me. Now, ch is a lingua alveolar sound. The lingua alveolar sounds are the ones produced with the tip of the tongue pressing against the alveola and releasing air. As we remember, the alveola is the very start of the palate just behind the upper front teeth. Ch is produced by the tongue pressing against the alveola and releasing air. But this is a short, voiceless sound. Ch. Ch. Now we have sh. Sh is a long lingual alveolar sound. It's produced by the tongue, pressing against the alveola and releasing air by a longer amount of time than sh. 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 Now we have some examples with ch and sh, like chip and ship. The chair is really cheap. On the other hand, we have I usually share. Last but not least, we have ng. Ng is a nasal sound, which means that the air should go through your nasal cavities and the vibrations should be felt right here. Ng. Ng. The ng sounds are used with the I and G combination, like in the word working. Sometimes we eat the end, like in the word playing, but it's wrong. We should pronounce the end like playing, playing. <laughs> 